let's move on to the North Division. We've got the Baltimore Ravens at 160, leading the pack here. We've got the Pittsburgh Steelers at 180, Cincinnati Bengals at 235, and then the Cleveland Browns at 1700 at the bottom. Who do you guys think is going to end up taking the lead here? Well, uh, I've got the I've got the North here, um, and I think the steel. You know, I think this I think this AFC North is going to look this year just like it did last year. I mean, you have the Steelers. In my estimation, they're going to be on top. You have Baltimore and Cincinnati battling out, probably getting the two wild card spots. And Cleveland is going to you know be uh, holding up the rear end as they always do. Um, but I'll tell you what, what a great great game kick off the season with the uh, Steelers visiting New England. I'll tell you what, man, that is just going to be something to watch. I am so excited to see that. Uh, as you know, Troy Polamalu, uh, he's in retirement now, no longer with the Steelers. Um, and, uh, you know, not a lot of ha not a lot really happened to the Steelers group. I think that, uh, you know, they got D'Angelo Williams in the backfield to spell um, Bell. But um, I like them plus 180 to win the North here. And I think over 8.5 is a solid bet as well. All right, and what do you guys think about the Browns here? Do you guys think that they're going to be able to take more than six wins? That's I'd where like they're to, totaled at right now. I'd like to see some Johnny Manziel back in rehab props, if that's possible. Uh, what are the lines going to be at there, Pete? Um, plus, uh, or sorry, minus 250, Manziel ends up uh, in rehab. Minus 300, he's photographed uh, in a Vegas pool with some babes. Uh, <laughs> get some lines here. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I'd definitely go minus 300 with the Vegas pool. Absolutely. Cleveland was a good bet against the spread, though, last year, though. So, uh, you know, a lot of times when they, when they have those turmoil, that kind of turmoil, the market does tend to overreact. So if that stuff happens and they do kind of go down the drain, uh, that might not be a bad thing from a betting perspective in terms of, uh, you know, looking for the market to overreact. So I like things like that, and like Philadelphia as well. You might see Philadelphia actually being a good bet against the spread. You know, those kinds of teams, uh, can that can happen to that. That is true. Go ahead, David. No, I was just saying that is true. Yeah. I was just going to say the Browns, you know, it's tough to bet against them, and it's tough to bet on them. They're just one of those teams. But I was going to mention, go back to the Steelers. They have one of the toughest strengths of schedules of any team coming up this year. At eight and a half wins, I mean, I really want to pick them to win this division. But looking at their schedule, it's just absolutely brutal. Obviously, we just mentioned they opened the season against the Patriots. They they have a game against the 49ers at home, which should be a win. Then they go at the Rams, at home against the Ravens, at San Diego, at home against the Cardinals, at Kansas City, and then at home against the Bengals. I mean, that is a tough, tough beginning of the schedule for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, I, I really want to pick them to win this division because I think they have that kind of talent and ability. It's a very tough division, but... I mean, that, that's going to be tough to get above eight and a half wins and to win this division with that kind of beginning of the schedule if they don't come out hot. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Do you guys think that this could possibly be the toughest schedule that we've seen so far? What do you guys think? I would agree. I would, I would just finish up on what Jordan was saying. Look at how they end the season at Seattle, home to Indy, and then three of the last four games in the division on the road, and the fourth game is versus Denver. Uh, you know... I think this is the toughest division to handicap, in my opinion. I think that uh, the Steelers, their defense still sucks. Their offense is still good. But this schedule, oh, my God. You got the Ravens. I can't, you know, I liked the Ravens last year when they had Gary Kubiak, but, you know, they lose Torrey Smith. Their offense probably takes a hit. I, I'm not so sure about the Ravens. And then you got the head case, Andy Dalton, leading the Cincinnati Bengals. You know, I think this division is up for grabs for anybody, and it's I, I have really no... No prediction on who's going to win here. Do you think eight or nine wins could win this division? Uh, let's take a look at Cincinnati's schedule here. I think Cincinnati might be the most sound bet at Oakland versus San Diego at Baltimore, home to Kansas City. That sounds like two and two. Versus Seattle at Buffalo sounds like three and three. Uh, at Pittsburgh, home to Cleveland. Should I just keep doing this? Uh, at, uh, that's about four and four. I, you yeah, know, if you look at the end of Cincinnati's schedule, I don't know. I, I think Cincinnati's probably the best bet here. As much as I despise Andy Dalton, I mean, they're still a good defense, still a good running game. They're the youngest team, has done like the least amount of retooling. The, you know, the Ravens retooling their defense a lot. I, I think I'd probably lean with the Bengals, like you said, maybe eight, nine wins. 